um, some keyboard shortcut macro that you can do that AutoCAD has in some big, huge AutoCAD dictionary somewhere, but I don't know what it is. Uh, this is the way I kind of know how I do it. So if I go on my dimension, and let's pretend this is a, has a counterbore and a depth to it, and I double click on this, and I say, hey, I want to put in a symbol. It has some symbols already for you, but it doesn't have any of the ones we want. We want depth and we want counterbore. So you have to go to other, and then on my other screen, this thing pops up, but you have all these different fonts. I did explain this in class the other day. All these different fonts. The font you want is G, D, and T. It stands for Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. And you'll see my symbol here. You'll see my symbol there. Uh, I can go in here and say 0. 0.625 uh, counter bore. And then say, you know, space, uh, whatever, 0. 0.25 depth like that. I can say copy. And then I can go over here and physically paste it on there. And then you can see I've got it on there. You could delete this one out. Just have this one there if you wanted to. But there is a way to do that. Again, to do it, you've got to double click on here. You have to go to symbol. You have to go to other and go to this box will pop up. Scroll all the way down to get the GD and T, geometric dimension and tolerancing, and then your symbols are on here. You can type in what you need, uh, hit the symbol. You have to click select, and then it puts it on there. It doesn't let you just click it. And then say select, and then copy, and then you'd actually go back to here, right click and paste it in, and it will go in there for you. So that is how 